Last year, I called out 2K for making the replica Kyrie Irving build have a 91 ball handle, and this year they gave him a 98, but I still didn't make 2K's version for many reasons. My favorite player had to be done correctly, but also in 2K fashion. Like we aren't doing 82 close shot on a 6-2 or going 91 mid range and missing mini magician hall of fame by one attribute like 2K did. So here's what I did do. His 2K roster player has a 95 layup and we got a 94. His mid range is exactly 92 and that's what we needed for mini magician hall of fame. Now on the three point, he has an 83, but I went 78 because as much as I've played 2K24 this year, I can tell you that 76 three point where you get bronze agent threes versus 83 three point will have little to no difference. Then with the new season dropping, I can finally make this video because we got the plus one ball handle arm sleeve, which gives us a 99 ball handle. Now you might be wondering why I didn't just upgrade to 99 and that's because you literally get nothing for doing it. For some odd reason, you don't get any dribble moves or badges, which is weird. And of course, 98 to 99 is super expensive. As you guys see, it's four overalls for one attribute. So obviously Kyrie has a 99 ball handle, but he also oddly has an 85 speed with ball. And I say that because you need a 91 speed with ball to get his dribble style. And I thought it would be insane not to do that. So we got a 91. We also have on every single Kyrie dribble move you possibly can on 2K24. So today we're going to find out if they're good or not. Then down to speed and acceleration, we have almost the exact same as his 2K player. We're also testing Hall of Fame killer combos, which is extremely rare to see because you need a 98 ball handle and you probably haven't seen it once this year. But now y'all see I had to make this build very special for my favorite player. So let's hop into the wreck and let the gameplay do the rest of the talking. Into the first rec game, we got two of them today. If y'all want to see more rec, just comment down below more rec. I'm going to throw a turnover on the first possession. Y'all know it's almost tradition on this channel for me to start slow, but trust me, we're going to get into it. He's going to Euro step by me, and I'm like, hey, these guys might be kind of good. I find a man in the corner off the double team, but it's going to be a slow pass. Luckily, Sprague's wide open, and he's going to get us on the board. Two to two, I told y'all, I've got on every single Kyrie dribble move. I find a spot, fade away, and yeah, 0 for 1 with a turnover. I thought I had an open shot, just didn't. But look, we're going to get into it. We get a steal, fouled on the fast break, and here we go. So he's going to throw over to Dunk because he thought he was RBAing to the point guard, but I'm RBB. It's okay, though, because Kyrie plays shooting guard in real life. I find my pocket, and our first wide open shot is going to go in. Y'all see we got Hall of Fame open looks, and that's the reason why I didn't spend those few extra points to go up closer to a realistic Kyrie rating on the three-point is because you get really good shooting badges for having a high mid-range I didn't see the need to go up to like 82, 83, because it doesn't really give you anything. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, we're running off the screen and we throw a turnover. Six to four right here. They're going to run down the court, throw up a bad shot. And you already know, man, I run those fast breaks. Another touch pass lob. We've already got two touch pass lobs. I'm 71% in the takeover, but this center was eating. Okay. He must have had a really high standing up, but y'all see these Kyrie dribble moves as we're getting into it. And I'm not going to spoil anything but they are nice pull up off the screen look how beautiful it looks but anyway if you guys want to see how to make this build get this video to 4,000 likes and i'll go straight off your interest you know what i'm saying if you want to see i'll show you plus some variations for like twos threes and all that type of stuff if i was to change it around because this isn't really a build video you know it's 99 ball handle we're looking at the drill moves and things like that so we almost get this deal another steal we didn't get 50 50 and they hit the three pointer you know that's just how it happens sometimes it's a 50 50 for a reason but this center was eaten down there I'm telling you, he must have had a pretty decently high standing dunk, but we're coming back down the other court. Boom, quick crossover right there, down to J-Cut, and we have takeover. Of course, I'm popping sharp shooting takeover now. If you guys are wondering, Badge, why are you popping sharp shooting takeover? You should be going for ankle breakers. You should be popping playmaking. Well, that's not how it works in this game. Sharp shooting uh, takeover is actually how you get more ankle breakers, so that's what I did. Now, y'all see, they're hitting another three, and we're getting into these killer combos, Hall of Fame, off the screen, stopping, pulling up, open, and we still have not missed. Now, if y'all want my jump shot, I did make a jump shot video, and the jump shot is in there, but look at this center, bro. He was not stopping, and we miss off an open pull-up fade right there. They're on the fast break in the corner, off the miss, still getting the and one bucket. 
18 to 15 on the free throw as well it goes in so we're actually down four points starting in this game i've missed one shot but we're not playing perfect you know what i'm saying definitely not i hit dunk off what i thought was going to be a wide open pass 33 percent contested they came to play but i'm wide open and sharp shooting takeover and i did not get the exact shot that i wanted you know i thought i was going to get a standing still shot but we still timed it we're in takeover you see my boy ice trade is getting the steal i'm coming down right here and look at the Kyrie moves by the way i'm fading away from three but he jumps and contests the shot so i'm gonna miss the first no actually make a 47 percent that's pretty crazy miss the 63 and then make a 63 so we get two or three out of them to go down my, my up my free throw is not fully upgraded i think it goes to like 73 whatever it bronze free points is i think is what i went to but you see man they are eating up our defense luckily they miss wide open our defense is like swiss cheese right now i'm finding my boy in the corner and i get an assist so we got 12 points four assists so far and i'm gonna tell y'all man these Kyrie dribble moves were very surprising look what i'm doing out here <laughs> oh my gosh in close games it don't matter by the way if you guys are wondering that is the new ai spin jumper that just came out in season three just like i used to use last year man if y'all seen of course if you're new hit that subscribe button we're trying to hit a million subs i'm wide open again though i don't know what this center was doing he knew how to play offense but he definitely was not playing great defense he was not helping that man over there and we're wide open for another three we do not miss i got sharpshooting takeover again i'm trying <laughs> i didn't get the animation that i got last time if i would have got it i might have made that shot but i didn't want to shoot that because it was gonna be contested we missed a wide open fade and then i'm open again moving off the ball some people like to just stand there and be like oh my teammate took a bad shot no i move around we're five for five at halftime 23 points four assists every single one of my threes have been wide open except for that one that pr i probably would have missed if i didn't get fouled i don't know if he didn't jump i might have been open instead but who knows i guess we will never know look at this off the dribble one pull up man we don't even got to do a bunch of moves this time you know what i'm saying just because we're on Kyrie doesn't mean we have to do a bunch of dribble moves every single play so anyway coming down the side of the court y'all are gonna see right here oh a little stun little stun ankle breaker that's what we like to see on Kyrie. and then i tried to dot the corner off a little you know what i'm saying people being like oh my god it's an ankle breaker it's kind of moving crazy i seen that he was playing that side i'm not gonna run into him we get a jump look at sprague making him jump taking the midi kind of looking like kobe right there i like that a lot can't lie I'm pretty sure that's kobe dribble pull up but look once again in the iso kind of j cut hadn't set the screen yet i try to dot him in the corner five percent contested that is still a shot that can easily go in especially in sharpshooting takeover with team mac jump shot anyway we're running the fast break i'm finding dunk failed in the corner and he's not missing that time so we're playing really good we're starting to blow these guys out in this game the next one is going to be really really close by the way the first one i wanted to show you guys the build basically maxed out i mean there's a few more badges i could have got but this build is almost perfectly maxed out we're finally hitting that 34 percent this time off the dot off the boot last time it was a 33 percent that he missed but but yeah the next one is not fully back uh badged out but a really good gameplay and a close one as well so i want to show you guys the max out one first what i'm trying to say anyway we got sharpshooting takeover again this man misses wide open that is unfortunate i can't lie i would be really upset you see i run back to get the ball that's smart iq pull up threes looking like Kyrie. that's what he does in real life bro he does those pull up threes all the time and oh my gosh the moves are really clean like i was very surprised look another one step pull up into the mid-range hall of fame midi magician i mean looking Kyrie-esque as you can be out here but yeah i just can't stop talking about it because these moves were actually good another ankle breaker right there and you see we only got ankle breaker on goal when it pops up into another pull up mid-range and i was having fun out here my favorite build i sweated i made it exactly how i wanted another pull up and it worked out so good so i'm really excited that i waited till season three to show you guys this build i just see me getting the layup right there because I didn't want to make a 99 video. I didn't want to clickbait and say I had a 99 when I didn't. And you know what I'm saying? I definitely didn't want to waste all those attributes on literally one ball handle that gives you nothing. So you see how fast we're moving out here, by the way? 91 speed of the ball, although acceleration is more important, is 
it's pretty nice. It definitely is a noticeable difference, but you don't need to have a high speed ball, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, wide open Sprague, and we're just obviously destroying these guys. You know, 38 points, 12 assists, three turnovers, and we might just get another ankle breaker and then shoot that thing from Limitless. From Limitless, y'all. 88% from three, finding Trey in the corner. And that's going to end the first game. 41 points, 13 assists. We shot 16 for 27 for eight from three. Amazing first game. That was basically badged out. You guys can tell now this is a little bit earlier in the build because I don't have them on accessories. I don't have shoes, anything like that. I got on 2K generics, but still, honestly, a better gameplay than the first one. And it's a very close game. Off the screen, I maybe could have shot that. I think it was good that I didn't, though. You see, we're just being patient right here. I should have shot that shot, but I'm going to find a left fade, 11% contested. That's why we got Hall of Fame Mini Magician. Okay, you see we got Silver Guard up. We don't have all our badges yet. I think in the last gameplay I had gold. And we didn't even have Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker yet in the first gameplay. So now, the next time I make a video on this build, we will have like literally all the badges. And also, you see Bullet shooting this pop right here, missing that. I do have on more of the meta dribble moves in this gameplay because I was trying to really grind out the build. And I didn't want to go out there and like, I didn't know Kyrie's dribble moves were that good, guys, but they're actually really really good like I could literally play uh very good people 90 win percent and be pretty confident with Kyrie's dribble moves on you know they were actually insane and his step back the one that I kept breaking people off of that was the step back by the way I don't know how it doesn't go out of bounds uh was the one that was breaking them a lot so Kyrie step back and I know it sounds crazy but yes I'm surprised that Kyrie's moves were good because I mean usually 2K doesn't make a lot of NBA players moves good. Like they'll have one or two good moves maybe, but like, you know, we use certain moves from drip from NBA players. Like each and every one is different. And it's almost very, very rare that an NBA player has multiple different good moves. Plus they were, I don't know, for some reason they were getting a lot of ankle breakers. So just letting you guys know, Kyrie Irving step back might be the wave for them ankle breakers. Anyway, wide open. And again, it is 10 to nine in this game. So. We are starting off pretty good, but once again, the defense is really not there, but I'm wide open, and man, I was having a lot of fun out here, man. That's why I said comment down below more rec, because just like last year, when I get into it, when I'm playing with my squad, when we're having fun, of course, you know, we're in the squad's rec, because you have to be, but you see me taking that three to get my sharpshooting takeover, it's, it's fun, you know, basketball playing 5v5 is fun, at least to me. You know, and I share the rock. I always average over 10 plus assists like every single game, basically. And even if I don't, at the end of the season, I always average, you know, 10 plus over per game. So my boy Remedy, he can hit these, but he wasn't hitting them in this game, okay? So I want you guys to remember that, that watch my channel especially, that he doesn't hit those all the time. You know what I'm saying? I posted it on Twitter. It got like 600 likes and people were like, Zen, 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 which is understandable because he does have a 79 three-pointer and no limitless, but it is actually possible to hit those on 2K24. But you're seeing the behind the scenes, like I told y'all, it doesn't go in every single time. So killer combos, I don't know if it has to do with helping you dribble better. It could just be like it was last year in 2K23, where it actually, as you see, as you see Remedy missing again right there. We got two misses, but don't worry. I'm going to find Remedy right here, and he's going to green it. It could be like last year where it just stuns people more. I have no idea. It hasn't been tested yet, but I would say having a high ball handle is actually pretty nice. Now, I don't know about Hall of Fame Unpluckable because if you guys seen the first gameplay where I said I had more of my badges, I still only had gold Unpluckable. So we will see that in the future as well when I make another Kyrie Irving video, just like last year, you know, I did my Kyrie Irving and I'm gonna do my Uncle Drew because my My Player every year is Uncle Drew. This man's reaching and I'm pulling up, bro. I don't care. I told y'all 78 three-pointer, really 76, is like the exact same up until Silver Agent 3s or Gold Agent 3s. Like, I don't see a big reason to go up on it unless you don't have a high mid-range. You see what I'm saying? So 76 with a 92 mid-range, I've made... I don't even know, 10 builds, guys. I've, I've made over 20 builds this year. I have a main account with 10 builds. And then my burner, this one right here, has 10 builds. I've deleted builds. I've made a lot of builds, is what I'm trying to say, with the exact same number. 92 min range, 
76.3, except, you know, this one has a 78, and it shoots really, really good. Even in fives, you can shoot if you know how to shoot, especially with the recent patch that happened where 2K made shooting easier, and they also made it to where ghost contests aren't as prevalent, so, you know, you're able to play better offense, and they actually have to play better defense. They actually have to play defense to get contests. So anyway, in the first quarter, you see Remy's trying to shoot that shot again. And yeah, like I said, man, pay attention because he was not hitting them in this gameplay. But when I post him hitting those people are like Zen, Zen, like it's not a Zen, bro. He's just timing it right. It has a small window and it goes in. That's just how it is, bro. In 2K24, you can hit crazy stuff in this game if you time it right. Now, if he was to go down and hit five of them in a row, that's when I'm going to say Zen. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm going down, getting a layup and I'm stripped. I get stripped. It's 24 to 25. I got gold on Buckball, 98 or 99 ball handle, and I'm getting ripped now. I know I don't have Hall of Fame yet, but that is insane. Now, if y'all didn't notice, they actually have an AI on this team, and Remedy's going to green that shot in the corner. But an AI, I'm not even kidding. I would rather 9 out of 10 games play a human player than an AI center. Now, the reason for that is they play amazing slip defense. They're always sitting in the midi. So on a build like this where I love to take those midis, they're always sitting there getting their ghost contests, getting their little opens instead of wide opens, changing your green window. And I'm fa I don't even know what I was shooting right there, guys. I tried to get an online uh, fade and it did not work. But yeah, I would actually rather play a human. So they actually got lucky that they had an AI. The only problem with the AI, as you see him getting a bucket right there, is their spacing is a little bad from time to time. But I'm telling y'all, bro, they're so good this year. They are, they're better than most people, but I'm hitting another person wide open. And as y'all have seen so far in this gameplay, my teammates are missing a lot, but it happens, bro. It definitely happens. It is basically a tie game and there's no issue. You know what I'm saying? The game's not over. There's no reason to cry about it. We still got time to win the game. So they take the lead right here and I'm just trying to get everybody involved. You know, I'm just trying to make sure that we win this game. I hit him with a nasty snatch back and we don't miss that. 71% from three at the moment. So we have missed a shot or two, but these guys are playing their heart out. Like, they are actually hooping out here, bro. I don't know what is going on. And as y'all have seen, bro, we're not doing a lot of cuts because it's back and forward, back and forward. It does not stop in this game. Either someone scores on their way down or the next way down they score. We almost get a bucket. My man's tried to do a front fade from basically half court with sharp string takeover, which would have looked really nice. But, you know, sometimes flashy is not the way to go, as we see. So I'm going down, and I'm getting foul right here. I have gold fearless finisher. So I haven't talked about that, but I went 65 strength on this Kyrie build, um, which obviously I don't think Kyrie probably has 65 strength in real life. But the reason why I did it is because gold fearless finisher, if we're making a Kyrie build, I feel like you need to have high fearless finisher. And I don't know what hit it is on the roster. It's probably gold or silver. But yeah, I figured if we're going high layup, we got to go high strength. And the, uh, another really good reason why um, I did it is because strength uh, 65 is very cheap on a guard. It's much less expensive doing the same attributes on a 6'2 for strength than it is on like a 6'8 or 6'10, you know, things like that. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it definitely does do things like that. So it was very, very cheap as well. Wide open and we get a three to go down. So you all see 42 to 40 right here. I don't know what's going on, but I'm playing defense. I'm playing defense out here right now. Okay, my build's not upgraded. You know, it's 91 overall, as y'all seen. My highest defensive attribute is a 27. 27, and we got to stop right there. So don't tell me that you can't play no defense with a no defense build because I've showed it many, many times. Now, it's not, you know, no defense. I think we do have like a 60 perimeter or something like that. But you see what I'm saying? Like, people are like, oh, it's a no defense build. Boom, it's bad. Like, I've showed every single time so many times missing from half court right there that you can hoop because basically if you have good offense yes you're going to give up more points on defense your teammates going to have to play better defense things like that they're going to be more out of position because they got to swing more but my thing is like if i give up 20 i'm putting up 40 you know what i'm saying and obviously usually it's like i'm putting up 40 and giving up like 10 you know because i'm playing out my zone and look at this ankle breaker 
Oh my gosh, into another behind the back and then shooting from half court to in the half. I think that's exactly what happened, not the exact play, but I'm pretty sure I broke a guy's ankles right before the half of the last game too. So man, it was getting devious out there. 50 to 45, we're getting the block. I don't pick it up in the AI, man. Their awareness is cracked, okay? Their awareness is super, super good. So anyway, I'm gonna find Bullet wide open. He's pulling up, sharpshooting takeover off that Mamba, so it counts as an open. It probably wouldn't have been open if he didn't have sharp take. But look at this, we finally get a stop. We're running down the court. I'm front fading, and I make that one this time. You gotta make those. It's flashy. It's fancy. It looks good. It feels good. It's also demoralizing for the other team when you hit something like that. They're like, oh my God, he, he really hit that. He really shot that. You know what I'm saying? You got to show them that you don't care. You don't care that it's a close game. You don't care at all. It's not going to be a close game at the end of the game. I pull up from so deep and I miss again. I miss again, bro. My Zen wasn't working, guys. You know, I, I, I got a Zen, right? You know, man, it just malfunctioned, I guess. But anyway, we're pulling up, free throws, next free throw. I believe this one's a 40% and he makes the 40%. So these guys were staying in the game the entire time. Bullets open, but not open. Uh, guys, I mean, for a sharpshooting takeover, it's not the worst shot if you time it right. 30%, you can, you know, off the catch and shoot, you can green it, but I wouldn't shoot that normally. Now we finally get a bucket out the corner and we got a nine point lead. If you guys can go back and count how many times my teammates have missed wide open, please let me know, bro. I think it's like 10 times at this point. But like I said, it happens, bro. Every game, your teammates can't play perfect. And we finally start to run this thing, bro. We finally start to run it. We're finally just getting it going. They're also missing some open shots if you go back. I shoot another front fade and I missed that one, bro. Ah, it was looking a little tough, bro. 57% for me, 57 isn't that good. Let me know what you guys are shooting from three in season three. That's weird saying that. But let me know what you guys are shooting from three so far in season three and also how you feel about the gameplay because I've been really, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you've seen it. I like this patch so much. I don't think they toned down steals a lot. Like I said, I don't really care what they do with the steals. I don't think the steals did anything, the on-ball steals, but I definitely noticed not getting contested as much off things that shouldn't be contested, like ghost contests and things like that that we've talked about. Remedy shooting it again and not making the shot again, okay? I've definitely seen people hitting more wide open shots, which isn't really, you know, I don't think shooting should be that easy. But really the most important thing to me, what I'm trying to get to, is I'm not getting ghost contested as much, which is so, so annoying. Been one of my biggest complaints since 2K23, because this is basically the same shot contest system except changed a little bit and i love it bro i love it they're not able to play bad defense and get rewarded for it is basically what i'm trying to say that's what a ghost contest is when they're like kind of standing next to you but they're not next to you and it says open instead of wide open or it says eight percent contested instead of open where it should have never been contested because they're just able to cough on you and it's hitting you they're not even actually there so anyway showing a front fade this time really a sideways catch and shoot fade and we're finally blowing these guys out we're finally ending this game like we should have from the start i'm like screw a layup i'm just gonna pull up right there so yeah if you guys do want to see this kyrie irving build just let me know man Four thousand likes like i said shooting from deep get these mans out of here and i had a lot of fun as y'all can tell bro from my voice i had a lot of fun playing out here i've been having more fun playing the game since that patch for sure but you see we got 50 points 11 assists if you guys want to watch this video right here click it tap it because i'm about to leave so you might as well click this video because this video is ending all right so click this one on the screen in the middle of your screen tap it click it whatever you gotta do man if it interests you go check it out it's your boy badge plug you've been plugged in please drop a like before you go if you haven't yet and then click this video i'm out